Good morning and welcome to tuning the ZEQ25 mount. This is Paul again. I've had a lot of requests to do this video so I'm going to give it a shot. This is my mount. What we're looking at is the declination housing, the RA housing. This is the saddle. As you notice I have very little play in deck, a few thousands. Uh, by grasping it in RA and rocking it I have very little play in RA. No clicking, no clunking, no man left on base. Both tension adjusting screws are back two turns out. If I back this RA screw, tensioning screw, all the way out <clears throat> and then attempt to rock them out and use a force, I think this is what a lot of users are experiencing, even with the tension screw run all the way down, uh, which is not correct. With this tension screw run all the way down, and backed out at least one turn. There's no way you can cam that. I'm using a lot of force. There's no way you can cam that RA, that RA worm off the ring gear and uh, cause your OTA to slip or cause any other issues. So, what we're going to do is start here on this RA housing. I'll show you everything how to do this on the RA housing, the RA worm assembly, and it will be the same for the declination. Except we're not going to do that because I'm not going to repeat it twice. So. What we're going to do first is remove this RA cover, the tension screw, just four Allen screws are holding it on, and uh, we'll start there. Be right back. All right, I've taken the liberty of removing three of these two millimeter Allen screws already to save time. So that's number four that comes off the RA housing cover. Then just simply unscrew the tension screw hopefully the springs will come with it if not just use a little magnetic screwdriver to get it out uh, we're going to be using that later to get this to get this ball out of there too but since I have it on my screwdriver right now we'll leave it at that so remove the ball and the tension the tension screw and by the way on my screw I have a spring and I have also an inner spring. That's my setup. Just to increase the mesh on the on the, the RA worm and the declination worms a, a tad and prevent uh, to prevent it prevent it from camming out of place. Alright, now we have this cover that everybody has an issue with getting off. Uh, the instructions tell you to use a screwdriver. I found that if you just squeeze it hard in the center, pull straight up comes right off no issues while it's off if you want on this inside edge of the cover you can run a little chamfer exactly in that direction so it slips on and off the bottom edge of that connector easily to make it a little bit easier to come on and off when you're reinstalling the cover it's best to just take your hand controller cord put it in there lift up and seat it in the cover before tightening the screws I'll remove the cover again by squeezing and pulling up. Of course this time won't go because my hands are greasy. There we go. Alright, once we have that RA cover removed what we're going to do now is cam this deck assembly out of the way by just flipping it over to either side. This will allow you access to the mainboard cover in the the RA mainboard right here. And what we're going to do is remove these four 2 millimeter Allen head screws and these three Phillips screws. I'm going to disconnect my reticle. I'm going to disconnect the hand box controller. I'm going to disconnect the deck cable. Get those out of the way. So I'm going to remove these screws. Me right back. All right, I've removed those four Allen screws. I removed the three Phillips head screws holding these boards in place. I want to note here that you do not have to remove these four Phillips head screws. They will stay on the board. Okay? They're part of the board. Once you have those screws connected, just flip it over and then you can just disconnect the RA board from the encoder motor. Take this and just set it aside. 
now we have access and I apologize for the very poor lighting here but uh, I don't have any professional equipment so this is what we have what we're going to do now is remove these base this base plastic cover just to allow access to the to the uh, RA housing hinge uh, screw adjuster that are underneath it there is a Phillips screw here there's a Phillips screw here and then two in the base they are extremely annoying to remove so I'm going to just unscrew one here let it drop right into the base do the same thing on the other side you can once you remove the bottom screws and slide the carver out you can retrieve these two screws if you have a magnetic tip Phillips screwdriver that would really be handy I don't and screw number four is right directly under the encoder motor here and I have all four screws loosened up slide it down and now you see you can just grab those screws and put them aside uh, alright take this assembly and your screws put this aside now we have the encoder motor and the hinge assembly the next thing we're going to have to do is take this pulley off and you do that by this is tough slide that belt off pull it up out of the way here's your RA encoder and hinge assembly you see how free that moves it should not bind but it should not be loose enough to fall by itself and we're going to cover that in just a second what we're going to have to do at this point is remove this pulley you need a one and a half millimeter allen wrench well, let me get a one and a half millimeter one and a half millimeter allen wrench from my copious supply of wrenches and you can turn this by hand loosen up that pulley take it right off all right that exposes four small Phillips screws that hold the encoder motor onto the bracket I'm going to unscrew those and screws and the magnetic screwdriver is not going to help you with these screws because they're non magnetic they're a special alloy because there's a magnet in the encoder motor so best way to do this do it one screw at a time or I like to do them sequentially and, and I'll show you why since these screws are non-magnetic if you drop these you're in a world of hurt they're extremely small so I'm gonna leave them in place and just unscrew the motor off of the screws once the motor is off of the screws set the motor aside and now you can remove the screws without losing them okay those are your four little screws very small set those aside don't lose them now we're ready and I hope I can zoom in on this and again apologize for the light these are the three screws that adjust the position of the worm in and out and in correct mesh what we're going to do is adjust the worm mesh and I'm going to show you a nifty way to do that be right back 